AI is everywhere right now. But are you sure you're getting the full benefit of your AI and your data collection in particular? Gay Hamilton asks that question all the time. She's the CEO of Go Innovation. Gay, how do people know if they're getting the full benefit of the AI in their data collection? Well, thanks, Craig. And yeah, I mean, that's that's a really tough question. And it's a very difficult answer um, in today's world. Like, how do you know? It's so new and so innovative that it's it takes a while to to get on to it and to figure out what you can actually do with it and what 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 point is there to having AI? Why do I need to be why do I need to be pushed into this? Yeah. And why do people need to be pushed into it? Um, I, I think the benefits are huge. Um, and also it's it's the way of the world. That's the way the world is is spinning. We're, we're going to end up there whether you like it or not kind of thing. Um, but artificial intelligence can provide so much functionality that relieves those day-to-day -day monotonous follow-up tasks that all of your staff are having to do um, it, it, it provides them an opportunity to work on the more challenging stuff, the smarter stuff, the working with the customers. Um, one of the great examples is a, a sales guy. So a salesperson is out um, making calls on the phone, you know, following up. AI is now built into the software that the salespeople are using to help them with all those process flows, all those acknowledgements, all the reminders for, for you know, calendar updates and reminders for meetings and those kinds of things. They can all have artificial intelligence built into them to help help the, the the salesperson deal with those those data points. So all the monotonous grunt work of uh, checking your reminders, things along those lines, AI is taking care of that. They're ahead of you on that and just feeding it to you when you when you need it. That's right. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you to the extent where they can. AI can automatically send out notices to customers and you all of a sudden have a ca have a calendar meeting booked in your calendar already there. It's all, you know, you didn't really have to touch anything. It'll all happen in the background. Yeah, it's it's fantastic technology. And the thank yous too, right? Thank yous are really important. Uh, exactly. I find when you've had a meeting with someone, it's gone well, you want to maintain that contact, uh, especially in that situation. You should always do it anyway. But AI yeah. can just take that off your plate. Absolutely. It takes it off your plate and it can be customized. So you don't get the same old, same old every single time. You know, the thank you is not the same each and every time. So yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, great If you get that form, thank you, the, the jig is up, right? It loses exactly. its effectiveness. Exactly. Why bother? So how do you help people in this regard? Um, a lot of it is sitting down and finding out, okay, how are you doing these processes now? How can we help you reduce the cost of trying to reach customers, of having to follow up with um, an overburdened customer success department. Um, with with the, the changes that have occurred in the past year, there's a lot more people that are moving to the cloud. There's a lot more people demanding customer service. They want to speak to somebody. They want to chat immediately, you know, that kind of stuff. AI is a big innovator in that area and can really help reduce costs and, and help your staff be much more efficient. And it's only becoming more and more and more prevalent. It's going to be, uh, you know, your best friend in ten years. Well, and and even even less than that. Like there's a there's a new report from Gartner Group um, that says by 2023, companies will actually be using AI to do proactive customer support. So they're reaching out to customers to say, hey, you might be experiencing a problem and we can help with that. That's pretty incredible. So best to get on board now, right? That's right. Always best. How can people get a hold of you so that you can help them? Um, the easiest way is probably email, um, hamilton.gay at goinnovation.ca, um, or absolutely jump on the website and, and we can reach you that way. Thanks so much, Gay. Uh, Always good to learn about the technologies that are coming down the pipe. Thanks so much, Craig.